Okay, hello Hamburg. Um, now I want to speak with an Inuit. He's a very impressed person. I saw him on a stage, uh, I think 30 minutes ago, and he told us about um, six years ago when he was living in a in, in an igloo, and he was born in an igloo. And now we want to speak about his history, and he want to tell us something why he's here on a cop, the climate change, and maybe some words about the people um, from the, the Inuits. Okay. Please start. Tell us something about your person and your people. Okay. My name is uh, Peter Hirnik. Uh, My name means uh, son, as a win. And um, I was born in Anikulu. And I lived in Anikulu for the first 11 years of my life until I was taken by the church and the government of Canada to go to what we call a residential school. My generation of Inuit, uh, we are the first uh, generation to go to residential school from the Iglu. And um, I was brought up to be a hunter, uh, hunting caribou, hunting seals, hunting uh, sea mammals such as beluga, uh, such as walrus and animals like that for survival, for our food. Uh, that's something that uh, we practiced uh, at Inuit for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. Uh, so um, uh, we traveled by dog team in the 19, up to the 1950s and 1960s. We traveled by dog team to go hunting, caribou, hunting seals, to go fishing. That's the way we uh, used to do it uh, in the 50s and 60s. Um, when um, in the 1970s, we decided that uh, we were going to get out of the igloo and move into the uh, quote-unquote modern civilization. And uh, the government of Canada provided us with uh, wooden housing. So nobody lives in an igloo anymore. And uh, everybody lives in the house. Uh, all the families uh, in the Arctic are now living in wooden houses whether we come from uh, northern Quebec, called Nunavik, uh, or Nunatiavut in Labrador, and uh, Nunavut uh, in the ter in Nunavut Territory, or in the Northwest Territories, uh, where we have Inuit population as well. So um, we are, uh, as Inuit, uh, uh, educated people now, educated in uh, European education. Um, we um, uh, produced uh, um, uh, quite a lot of Inuit uh, as lawyers now. Uh, we have doctors, we have um, technical people, we have vocational people, the, you know, the carpenters mm -hmm. and electricians and uh, plumbers and things like that. So that means um, we have joined the mainstream of the Canadian society, mainstream of the European society. Uh, so. Um, we are um, also heavily wired today. We can communicate with you in Europe uh, from uh, now we at Repulse Bay, Rankin and Lick, uh, or Iqaluit on a computer. So we are uh, part of the uh, mainstream of the international community. Uh, however, we still teach our people how to uh, hunt, how to uh, uh, fish, uh, how to um, build an igloo, even though we don't live in an igloo anymore. But as Inuit, when we are out hunting uh, on the land, and let's face it, it's very cold in the winter time in the Arctic. Uh, so minus 30, minus 40, minus 50, minus 60. So our people have to learn how to build an igloo if they have to stay overnight on the land. Yeah. So that's what we still do to teach our young people how to live on the land or off the land. Um, we travel, I travel. Yeah, I must ask you, you're now on a SCOP 26 here yes. um, in Glasgow. And yeah. when you are as an Inuit um, should say, these are my sir, three aims. What are the three aims for the Inuits to the COP people here? Well, we want, I'm here as an Inuit uh, uh, knowledge keeper for um, Inuit uh, Circumpolar Council. 
and uh, I'm here to um, participate at various um, uh, conferences, uh, workshops to do with uh, indigenous uh, uh, participation, indigenous delegation from around the world. And um, my contribution here at the conference is to tell the uh, indigenous people, other indigenous people, um, how we are doing it in terms of climate change and global warming. Um, global warming is real. Global warming and climate change are here. So my message to the uh, international community is to take some concrete action now to address the issue of climate change and global warming. Because as Inuit, uh, we always know what's happening in the Arctic. We are the first to know that uh, there's a climate change and global warming in the Arctic. And whatever we see in the Arctic is going to spread all over Canada, all over North America, all over Europe, all over the world. Eh? So uh, my job here is to uh, participate at the uh, various workshops, uh, such as uh, uh, indigenous uh, participation on uh, indigenous traditional, uh, uh, traditional knowledge. Uh, so my role here is to uh, talk about Inuit uh, traditional knowledge to the rest of the uh, indigenous participation delegation at the conference uh, to do with climate change and global warming. That's fine. Um, two, two last questions. Um, um, I think we all are very afraid about the climate change and that the ice shields are go down and down and down and um, the water from the ice. Um, last year I was in ice island in, in, in the Faroe Islands and in islands and we saw the, the, the ice shields are will going smaller and smaller in the, in mm -hmm. the, now and in the future. Um, what are you thinking um, must uh, in, in the, the, it's, it's a very it's a danger for the Inuits mm -hmm. um, the, when all ice is gone. Um, yeah. um, what, 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 what is um, your thinking about um, the Arctis in the next 20 or 30 years? Mm -hmm. what do, well, what I'm thinking, the priority as I see it as Inuk, Inuit is that um, look with climate change and global warming in the arctic springtime comes in earlier fall time comes in later um, ice in the arctic is melting the glacier in the high arctic is sliding down from the big mountains into the ocean yes and that's melting yes. so the water is arising in the arctic as it is in many different parts of the world um, in the Arctic, um, in my time in the 1950s, when there was no climate change and global warming, we used to see temperatures of 15 degrees Celsius. That's uh, yes. for Inuit at that time very warm. Yes. Now, today, um, from the 1990s, we see temperatures much higher than that. We see temperatures high, rising to uh, 20 degrees. 25, 30 degrees, and even 35 to 40 degrees. Unbelievable. In July. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But that's a real, that's yes. a fact. That's a fact of life that we see today in the Arctic. We, we now see uh, uh, birds, new birds that are coming into the communities. Yes. We have robins in Baker Lake. We have robins coming in in the summertime to Rankin Inlet. These are the kind of birds that we never thought we'd see 50 years ago, 60 years ago, when we were still living in an igloo. So um, uh, ice doesn't get as thick as it used to. Uh, sometimes it's become a dangerous uh, situation for the hunters, caribou hunters and seal hunters and fishers and people like that. Yeah. So what I'm saying is um, to have the international community, international um, uh, government uh, to listen to the Inuit because we know about climate change. Yes. Whenever there is a climate, whenever there is a change in the climate, we as Inuit are the first ones to know the impact of climate change and global warming. Thank you very much. Last question now. 
when some people in Hamburg want to know more about your culture and the Inuits, where, you, where they can find you in the internet, for example? They can find me internet. I'm not that hard to find. Um, as long as people know how to uh, spell my name, Peter Irnik, I-R-N-I-Q, uh, they can find me in the Google. I'm in um, uh, several hundred pages in the Google. That's cool. So, so uh, if the people in uh, Hamburg wants to uh, talk to me, um, invite me to come to uh, Hamburg. Invite me as a guest uh, lecturer. And I can talk a lot about uh, Inuit perspective, uh, Inuit experience, because we are experiencing uh, climate change and global warming as Inuit. Why? Because we use the weather. We uh, live with the weather all the time. And uh, we hunt from the land. Uh, we fish from the land. We are directly connected to the environment. That's why people in Hamburg, uh, if they want to hear more from me, uh, listen to the Inuit, talk to the Inuit like myself. Yes, we will put it in the video at the end and then they can go on your site and maybe we will invite you next year to Hamburg. Have a great time and we wish all together that the humans will stop the climate change. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay.